what is up guys Stuart here and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a higher FPS in Crucible but first things first I want to tell you guys that this game is um, poorly optimized very poorly optimized and uh, um, the developers Amazon um, studios and affiliates have already said that they, they they know that they agree with that they um they um acknowledge that and um they are working on trying to make the game performance a little bit better as you know that the game has been um launched with a lot of features that are, are missing and it's pretty obvious that these guys <laughs> didn't complete the game before they they um they launched it so performance is a big big deal this game is running very hard i have a gtx um 970 and um a ryzen 5 1600 and i have um 16 gigs um, of ram and i barely get um 60 fps so if you're playing this and anything lower than this my the processor is a, a, a six core processor 12 threads and um um the graphics card is um about four gigs of of um memory four gigs of memory on it so it's it's pretty good it should be running games like this pretty good because i run battlefield 5 i play battlefield 5 on a daily basis and i get over 60 fps easy and but you know battlefield 5 is a very cpu um, intensive game um graphics card intensive game and and uh, because it's the visually beautiful and um i get good fps on 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 those things too but the first thing i want you guys to download is something called intelligent list cleaner every single thing i tell you guys will be in the description just wait a little couple of seconds in case you're one of the guys that um the early birds just wait a couple of seconds or a minute and uh, i'll put those things in the description and stuff like that but intelligent list cleaner what it does it's it's gonna um, free up some of the memory for some of you guys who don't have like 16 gigs um, um ram like me or you play it on four gigs or, or whatever eight gigs or whatever and you're you are running other things on a pc but make make sure that you are not running other things on the pc when you're playing this game because it's poorly optimized as i said before so don't go playing other 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 um other things on the on the pc running other things only thing that should be running is your like they say a virus protector or something like that but other than that i don't think you should have anything running on it so intelligent list cleaner as i said um, you just search that in Google, type it intelligence list cleaner. Um, the first thing that pop up should be it, but I, I will have the link in the description for you guys so you don't really have to search that up. Now, what you want to do is go into settings and we're going to look for settings that tells you um, the time to um, automatically clean the computer, so to free up space in your computer memory. And it will do that at random times or at random um, loads. So when it's about 60% load, you can tell it to clean or you can tell it every 15 minutes to clean so that's what you gotta do the next thing you gotta do is go and check go and check to see if game bar is running you see microsoft they do a lot of th a lot of good things but i don't sure why they want to have game bar running on your computer when you have a fresh pc freshly installed your pc game bar is running you didn't ask them to put game bar in your in your computer it, it is a basically a software used to record your screen um record um your gameplay and stuff like that but it's already on and it actually takes in your um in your computer's power and it um it actually takes in your S fps too because it's recording let's say you're recording your gameplay with um shadow play which is a recording software that comes with nvidia cards and then game by is always running it's recording too it's probably recording like at every 10 minutes and just in case you want to save it you can just click save if you know the the buttons to press to save from the game bar and it, it tanks your fps so you need so game bar is always on you need to go and pull it off i have mine off already but if you search in the um, in the search box of our windows game bar you'll see the settings and you click that and um you put that off you put game bar off. I, dis I disabled that whole um, Xbox thing because it's, it's an Xbox phone, Xbox game bar. I disabled that. Make sure that thing is off. The next thing is that I have a couple of codes. I have a couple of codes that you can you can use. 
and I put that in all my Steam games, all Steam games that are kind of CPU intensive or whatever. And because um, the, my 970, my GTX 970 is a pretty good card, pretty good card. It's, 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 it runs all games, I would say. But then because of, of um, it being out there for uh, pretty much, I don't know, maybe around 10 years, I, I'm not too sure. It has a, a good amount of years on it on its head, so obviously I I, I need other um, things to um, help it, cool it, and stuff like that. And um, I have some codes, right? And we're gonna use that in um, Steam. So you want to go to Steam? You're gonna go to Steam, the Steam game. Every single game you have, you can put it in. Go to Steam, go to um, click a game, right click on it, go to properties. And then we're gonna put that in the launch option. You see an option called launch options where you see it like a place where you can put a code. You paste the code inside. You paste the code. You paste the code inside of the, the launch options. And um, for CPU count, you wanna make sure you know how much CPU, how much um, um, cause your, your CPU is. And to do that, you can easily run a Google. You know what CPU you have. If you're a gamer, you know what CPU you have. So my own is a Ryzen 5. Type in six cores because it's a, a six core CPU, the, the Ryzen 5 1600 is a six core, and uh, so I type in six instead of the number that is there. And then the next thing you want to do is your refresh rate. It's pretty easy to find out your refresh rate. You right click on the screen and go to the there's display options, um, it's the area where you can change your, your screen resolution and stuff like that. You'll see in the properties, you'll see that there is a refresh rate. Well, it's easy to do again. You can also Google your, um, your screen and you'll find out in case the screen um, and you'll find out in case it is uh, 60 FPS. And that's where you change the option um, for it. And after you change that, you just um, save. You simply save the, the, uh, the option. So um, wherever it says 60 FPS, your PC is already a 60 um, FPS um, screen, a uh, 60 Hertz monitor. You can easily just leave it how I have it. And the uh, only thing I probably need to change is the uh, CPU count. Because most people already have 60 FPS, uh, 60 uh, Hertz uh, monitors. I don't really pe believe that people use less than that anyways. But 60, you could just leave it as that. And the, the count for your threads, um, for your cores, um, you, could, you could look that up very easy on Google and put that in. And when you put that in, when you go on Crucible, you play Crucible on low. Because the only way it can help you is to play Crucible on low. Um, there's no sense playing Crucible on high. You will just be killing your PC for a game that doesn't even care about your, 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 your performance, really. Because they should have worked on that. Being Amazon Studio, big, great, giant like Amazon Studios, there is no way that they just, they just forgot about um, performance problems. So, and that's on them. So um, yeah, it's pretty um pretty simple. Just put in that code in every single game you have, um, and um, you'll be able to play um, and enjoy games a little bit better. I got up to about 10, 10 FPS, ten twelve FPS, and um, that's enough. Ten twelve is enough because let's say you're getting thirty FPS, which is kind of used to be a staple um, for consoles. And they're not campaigning for it. So if you get 10, that's 40. And you should be able to play the game, all right? So if you get in 40, you'll get 50 now. Or you could, actually, you could even get a lot more. But I'm just saying that that's, that's what I got. And I'm getting over 60 FPS now. But I usually record, so it will drop a little bit, a little bit. But um, other than that, that's what you guys should do. I'm not going to tell you guys to go and um, disable your, um, performance, um, your visuals. Like when you go in um, control panels and you go in visuals and you turn off everything so it can be more performances. Most people already know that already. So, but if it gives you want to a tutorial on that, I, I'll probably put it in. Or I'll just do it at the end of the video or something like that. But yeah. Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and um, peace.